Dr. Miriam Klein Kasanoff escaped Nazi Europe just before the beginning of the Holocaust. And now she's sharing her story with educators across the United States. Today, she made a stop in Terre Haute. And Demetria Sanders joins us with more on why she's not only emphasizing the importance of the Holocaust, but also women. It's our top story, Demetria. Sadie, today on ISU's campus, several teachers and educators had the opportunity to listen to Kasanoff speak about her journey from Nazi Europe to America. And in addition to telling her story, she is also teaching educators a new way of presenting the Holocaust to current and future students. In December of 1940, Dr. Miriam Klein Kasanoff's family had to make a decision to leave their home of Czechoslovakia, a decision that her mother was hesitant about until her father warned of the danger their family could soon face with one message. There is a plan that I've heard in the camps to murder all the Jews of Europe. Do you want the children murdered? Just before the Holocaust began, Kasanov's family decided to leave Czechoslovakia and flee through eight countries to reach Portugal, where Jewish refugees were being accepted. Years later, Kasanov now uses her story of escaping Nazi Europe to share with educators, including ones in the Wabash Valley. Her main focus, telling the story of a group of people that she believes were somewhat forgotten. There didn't seem to be very much told from the point of view of the women who resisted, who sacrificed, who helped uh, during the Holocaust. Saturday, Kasanoff shared these women's stories with local educators at ISU. And Peggy Grabowski, a Holocaust literature teacher at Terre Haute South, says Kasanoff's presentation gives her more resources to successfully teach her students about this part of history. I'm always looking for new resources, and I do teach about the women of the Holocaust, but this presentation allows me to use even more resources. And Marcus Steiner, a program coordinator for the Candles Holocaust Museum, says hearing Kasanoff's journey and stories of other women is a unique opportunity to dig deeper into the history of the Holocaust. Generally, when you look at history, uh, teaching about women is only a, it's a newer thing. So having someone come in, especially of Miriam's caliber, to do that is just a fantastic opportunity. Kasanoff also says that she believes, in addition to teaching the atrocities of the Holocaust, that educators should also focus on sharing the stories of those who lived in Europe both before and after the Holocaust. Sadie. Interesting story. Thank you, Demetrius. Now, Kasanoff also spoke at Candle's museum later this afternoon.